So you're learning code, you're in school, you're trying to refresh some programming knowledge, and what do you do? You're looking for a side project. So what's the next step? You look through YouTube, Reddit, countless posts of side project ideas, but nothing's really grabbing to you, nothing is inspiring you, and frankly, they all sound a bit generic. It could be that you're in this middle level of beginner to intermediate, so some project seems way too simple and some just seems way too complex. Well, let me tell you how to come up with a side project perfect for your level of expertise, something that is interesting to you, and more importantly, will foster your learning. The best side project is the side project that you're excited about. It'll keep your motivation high and increase the odds of you actually finishing the project. The passion comes across more when you talk to the project about someone else, which is incredibly useful for networking or job interviews. And frankly, it's just more fun working on something that you want to work on. I'm not talking about passion as in like, I need to do this but something that just truly does interest you that you would like to see created. And before we go any further, let me just remind you, if it already exists, you could still make it. A side project doesn't need to be original if you're doing it to increase your understanding of something, to show off on a resume. If you're trying to start a business, then maybe it should be a little original, but for the most part, it's more about your technical application than the end product. So if designing a peer-to-peer -peer chat program really interests you or trying to create a video catalog online, then don't be discouraged that WhatsApp exists and that YouTube exists. The important part is that you're going through the process. Because like I said before, and like I will say many, many times, the point of a side project is to A, develop technical skills, and B, create something that you're proud of. So with that being said, how do we find inspiration? How do we figure out what our side project should be? The first easy way of coming up with an idea is trying to copy something from a media that you like. And what I mean by that is like, look at a TV show that you really like, a movie that you really like, and they, a system that they have, and try to just copy it. For example, if you've watched Silicon Valley, then you may be familiar with a character called Jin Yang and his application, Not a Hot Dog. Let's start with a hot dog. What's that? When I was trying to learn some AWS and some Java Spring backend, I decided just to copy Not a Hot Dog. I used AWS Image Recognition, React, and a Java Spring backend to create a REST API service that would take an image and send the image to AWS, extract the return labels, and print it out to the front end. I basically just copied his app. And the entire time, it was just super fun. And you know, even though it was an obvious copy of something I found on TV, I still created it. And actually, if anything, I won a lot of brownie points with people around me because they were fans of the show as well, so they were super interested in how I did it. The second way that I like to come up with ideas for a side project is just look at giant list of APIs that I may be able to utilize. Find an API that you like and you try to use it to create some service that you think is really impactful or interesting. If you go to sites like rapidapi or apilist.fun, you'll find a giant repository filled with interesting APIs that are sorted by categories. Figure out what data you want to use and do something fun with it. Create a timeline of Marvel comics. Figure out how to record audio and send it to the Yoda Translator API. And arguably one of the most important ways to come up with a side project is to try to fix a problem that you have in your own life. I've been trying to learn Python. Part of my job at the moment is doing QA for SharePoint online migration. Part of this job is doing really tedious checks and documentation write-ups that are the same 99% of the time. So I'm working on a Python script to try to do all that stuff for me. A, it's developing my technical skills. B, it's incredibly useful for me, so I want to complete it. And C, it really does show that I have an interest in automating things that comes across really well when I'm networking or applying for jobs. So then let's take a step back and stray away from the notion that you need an idea to even begin a side project. One of the reasons you're doing a side project is to develop some sort of technological skill that you may be lacking or wanting to refresh or you're trying to showcase a technical skill. Let's say you want to learn Docker. You don't need to create something super elegant to Dockerize it. In order to learn Docker, one of the best ways to do that is just to create a simple Hello World program and try to Dockerize it and host it somewhere. When trying to learn about technology, often the idea of the project is the least important part. What's important is the technology that you're using. Because at the end of the day, it's learning how to implement solutions from the technology that you want to use. So one example, my company uses .NET and I've had to learn C Sharp and Azure. So I know that C Sharp is relatively similar to Java. I know Azure services have similar services provided by AWS. So in order to familiarize myself with that technology stack, I literally just recreated my Not a Hot Dog app that I created using Java and AWS, and I used Azure and C Sharp. To learn MongoDB or Cosmos, focus on that part of things. Don't worry about what you're using it for. Just make a simple to-do app. And then once you understand these tools better, you could go from there. As mentioned before, 
plenty of times throughout this video. If you're working on a side project, chances are you're doing it because one of the following. You're beefing up a resume, to showcase some skills, or you may just want to learn something new. The beautiful thing about programming is software essentially runs the world now. And yes, there are very niche specialized fields of software, but in general, learning something by working on project A will be pretty similar to how you would implement it if you were doing project B, because it's the application of your technical skill that matters most. With that said, I leave you to work on your side project. I hope this video helped. Links in the descriptions for any website that I mentioned earlier. I would love to hear more about the side projects that you worked on. What's like the favorite thing that you love telling people about? Anyway, like and subscribe for more content similar to this. And uh, until then, I'll see you later.